गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अब लैब टू दैट इज एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर टू सो बाय यूजिंग एन एस टू ओनली दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट आल्सो सो साइकिल टू ऑफ डी सी एन लैब एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर टू सो इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इंप्लीमेंट ए फोर नोड पॉइंट टू पॉइंट नेटवर्क विथ लिंक्स एन जीरो टू एन टू एंड एन वन टू एन टू and apply n2 to n3 and uh, apply tcp agent between n0 to n3 and udp between n1 to n3 so apply relevant applications over tcp and udp so and uh, changing the parameters like uh, some bandwidth change as well as uh, queue size change so we need to determine the number of packets sent and uh, study the characteristics of this network so that is the agenda of this lab so Uh, apart from previous experiment in previous experiment only we can apply in a network either tcp or udp but uh, in this both the things at a time we need to apply so we will see this experiment so first of all i want to control alt t so then terminal will open so first of all i need to change my path to desktop this cd space desktop then later i need to change that path to dcc n lab and uh, once again i want to change to so experiment number 1 so i i created a folder so in dcc n lab i created a folder experiment number 2 so like that so later we will see that one but uh, now at this moment because nsg 2.1 is here only so i want to open that thing so what is the command java space hyphen jar space nsg 2.1 dot jar so this is the first thing you need to apply so then scenario will open so uh, according to problem statement just to take the scenario a wired scenario in this wired scenario i need to take n0 n1 n2 and n3 so there are four nodes are there so the connectivity between them so links i need to select so these links are maybe 200 if you want you can take so otherwise 100 is also no problem so full duplex links i am taking and from n0 to n2 and n1 to n2 n2 to n3 so these are the links what i am applying then after that so there is an agent required so that is tcp agent between n0 and n3 so tcp agent between n0 and the sink for tcp is this one so n0 to n3 so this is first i need to connect so this one okay so next next one more thing so the udp agent i need to take udp agent so in between n1 and n3 so null here it is null so null so then now i want to change the packet size to 1000 here so instead of 1500 i am changing so this thing as 1000 so then later so just uh, connect these two okay so then after that you need to put an application so the stop time is around uh, uh, 8 i want stop time start time is at 1 stop time is 8 so ftp agent is at uh, here and uh, cbr is here okay. so there is application so the cbr application is for this and uh, this one also the packet size is 1000 and uh, the interval is 0.005 so i am not changing anything so all are same but except this one having the timeline 1 to 8 and this one is also having timeline 1 to 8 so both are running at same time so after that parameters so only i am creating out.tr and out.nam so done so click on tcl so it will generate a tcl file so here i am not changing anything so simply these are the things uh, how much time i can run the program and everything so here both packet sizes are 15 and udp connection is also 15 but uh, finally when i am taking the cbr i changed that thing to 1000 so that's it so save so nothing you need not to change anything in this 
so first initially what is the what are the parameters what are the bandwidth everything same so i am not changing any bandwidth or anything see here 150 150 150 so with that parameters only i am changing the thing so desktop decision lab exponent number 2 so in that i am taking experiment 2 dot tcl so my file name is experiment 2 dot tcl okay done so once uh, this this thing is done just go to once again the command prompt one more command prompt i am opening so here i want to just to cd space desktop cd space uh, decision cd space decision lab so after that cd space exp2 okay because my folder name is exp2 so here i need to run ns space exp2 dot tcl okay ns space this is the name so network animator is open here so just uh, hit here and uh, observe the how many packets are how the packets are moving from one place to another place so these are uh, tcp and this is cbr okay so if you want to say slowly you can or if you want to run fastly also it so that is choice is yours and you run this thing so once this running completed there is a trace file came so i closed this thing so just i want to observe which type of trace file is this so then i got out.tr so open this out.tr so this is the trace file so it is around 50 pages like that so it is a text text document so in this all the parameters are relevant to our text file you know already previously we discussed this thing you know first experiment only what is meant by plus nq minus means dq r means receive d means drop so here uh, there is no drop but we can't do or you can't count count this like this and we can't analyze like this that's why i want to write awk file so here i, I am writing an awk file so in this uh, i am taking six variables so like uh, receive tcp receive udp send to tcp send to udp drop tcp drop udp so these are the six uh, variables i am taking so when the first field in the out.tr is nothing but r then field 4 is nothing but there is nothing but uh, receiver is 3 then if the agent is tcp and uh, if the packet size is uh, 1540 then automatically you increase the receiver packet one one packet is received through tcp like that we increase this thing same way here if first field is r and uh, receiver is 3 only once again but uh, the agent is cbr and uh, the packet size is 1000 so like this I, I can make this two. Next to second case drop drop case. So if first field is D, D means drop. So then sender. So where it is from sender I need to check. So at sender it is going to drop. So at that Q. So if it is two, then uh, agent is TCP and uh, packet size is 1540. So then once again here drop only, uh, sender is two only. So at node two. So next to CBR agent is, so then this one is 1000. So same way that is the drop. So one more case I want to check that is nothing but sent, sent by node 0, okay, sent by node 0. So when sent by node 0, if it is a TCP, increase the TCP packet, TCP count. So sent by 1, node 1. So if it is a CBR only, you need just to increase the sent count. So then here I am writing the um, results printing so simply total number of packets sent by node 0 so through TCP so that is nothing but sent TCP plus plus so here uh, because yeah so here must and should be write 1 plus because so it is starting from 0 so that's why I want to increase one more time so that's why okay so plus plus you write so maximum times that is required so uh, then this one and here here so all the things all the things uh, i need to write so like this okay the total number of tcp 
data packets dropped it node 2 so like this i printed the every result and uh, after completion of this uh, editing just to save it so once save this file so we have exe.awk and out.tr so these two are more enough uh, to execute the next level so then here i want to write awk iphone f awk iphone f and ex2 dot awk and out dot tr out dot tr so that file is as an input so this is the uh, thing what i got so because i doesn't change any parameters in the result so that's why i got this one as the result so uh, these results you can directly put on the screen okay so put on your thing so the total number of packets received and everything is uh, showing obviously okay so next uh, one more time i want to execute so go to this tcl file because i want to change some parameters so at node 3 that is 2 to 3 link so i want to make this thing as a 10 and uh, this one as maybe 5 or 4 or something 3 the queue size is 3 so here uh, and save entire thing so then once again go to this thing run the tcl so run the tcl file so then you got this thing so then run it so if i increase the speed automatically it will start so some packets are dropping here at node 2 so some packets from udp are dropped some packets from tcp are dropped so like this something is dropped we don't know exactly which one is dropped so we will know okay so like this we need to execute this file so once completed so just stop it and here so one more time i want to execute this awk script so then automatically i got this thing see so the number of packets sent because the bandwidth is reduced that's why 720 only sent previously it is more yes so if we see here 3410 and 875 so now uh, according to cbr so there is no change okay there is no change in the number of packets sent so under uh, if you check uh, take the tcp tcp is somewhat weight and it is somewhat uh, typical and it require more more area or more bandwidth must and should require so that's why the number of packets are dropped from tcp so this analysis you need to do so this is the result of our experiment okay so like this uh, with this thing we completed experiment number two that is nothing but analysis and uh, study of network so that is nothing but implementation according to the problem okay so this is about the experiment number two okay thank you thank you so all of you execute this thing and uh, write the record thank you